What's going on, folks? Zeke here with the Bass Tank. Wanted to go round two on a little live scope series that we're doing here. Um, on the first video, I talked about um, when you first get live scope, go find some trees, go find some docks, some bridge pilings, something you can associate your eyes above and below the water with, right? Once you've got that kind of figured out, um, for all you crappie fishermen out there and bass fishermen, we all fish brush piles, right? Every one of us fishes brush piles. I don't care what species of, of fish, even walleye fishermen, um, a lot of times fish brush piles. So um, brush piles are a little tougher because they're obviously submerged in the water. The way that we used to do it, um, for you crappie guys, I know you guys will relate to this, uh, we would scan and mark with the big motor and we would throw a dang marker buoy out as close to that brush pile as we could get. I despise marker buoys. They're just a pain. They're a pain to retrieve. I for, would forget them all the time, I have to go back for them. So I never liked marker buoys, but they were a necessary evil for me. Now with LiveScope, the brush pile is my marker buoy, if that makes sense. So I, I no longer use marker buoys. I've taken them all out of my boat. And once you get a good understanding of where that brush pile is, on your screen and how far out it is, how deep it is, um, then it's very easy just to use that as your marker buoy, especially if, if you have a trolling motor with spot lock. Um, then, you know, when you catch a fish, so you don't drift off that marker buoy, immediately hit spot lock. Now, a lot of guys that are brush pile fishermen are gonna be on spot lock anyway, because they're using a separate pole for their live scope or active target transducer, which is perfectly fine as well. That way, you don't need to throw a marker buoy, you're spot locked and you, you can stay on target with your separate pole. So guys, give that a shot. Um, it does take practice. This stuff, uh, you know, takes time on the trolling motor, time, screen time to really get down. But once you get it figured out, I promise you, you're going to catch more fish. And then we'll talk about in a later series of videos, how to target bigger fish with live scope, if that's your goal. And um, that's certainly attainable with this technology. So stay tuned with us, check us out, thebasstank.com. If you have any questions, holler at us, jump on our YouTube channel. A lot of your questions will be answered there. Thanks guys.